the decision of the, of the court. They have been, uh, of course, the court does not have the powers on looking on the, on the, on the implementation. But the partner states have been implementing the decision of the court. Because it, it is true that implementing of the, of the decision of the court is by the goodwill of the, of the, of the government. But from its establishment, the partner, the partner states have been implementing the decision of the, of the court. And we are, we are confident that even, even tomorrow after tomorrow, the partner states will keep on implementing the decisions of the court. Under funding, if the court is being underfunded, that is a matter of time. I will then undertake, in my current capacity as the chair of the EAC Sec Sectoral Council on Legal and Judicial Affairs, to follow up on the status of such protocol and the extended jurisdiction of the court, which would enable the council to promote the objectives of the community. And I also undertake, Honorable Judge President, to look into the issue just raised on the bill. You can rest assured that during my tenure, I will, at a personal and official level, extend my full support and cooperation to this court. EACJ has in the recent past witnessed a growth in its activities. I note with appreciation that the report presented by the court to the 40th meeting of the EFC Council of Ministers on the 25th February 2021 highlighted that a total of 64 matters were handled by the court in the year 2020. This is commendable, considering the disruptions occasioned by the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm also delighted to note from the report that the court has managed to deploy virtual hearings of court proceedings. 